a mom of four kiddos. Uh, we are a military family. And <laughs> um, so I, I got into inventing uh, quite some years ago and it took a, quite, quite a few years to get my first uh, product out there. Actually, my first product I licensed and it, it didn't end up being such a good uh, licensing deal. I was just so excited to get one that I, I signed it and it wasn't the best. It was a very short deal, thank goodness. Um, but it never made it to the retail spaces, which was very unfortunate. But while I was waiting for that time to pass, I worked on, started another project, which is called the Right Height Adjustable Over the Door Hook. And that one did go well. I got that one licensed and it is for retail. And so that, this is this product right here, right height, adjustable over the door hook, no tools. So the whole idea is these, these um, pieces right here, they adjust, they go up and down. Um, and then this kind of shows you how the height of a regular size hook or some regular hooks uh, are about that height. This goes way down low for um, someone who is not very tall to be able to hang their items, book bags, coats, jackets, towels, all of those great things. Um, and then this is just a little story about me, uh, the inventor on the back of that. And then, uh, of course, tonight we were going to celebrate and talk about Robert's book here with all the amazing inventors in here. Um, it's just amazing reading these stories. Um, if you haven't gotten this book yet, I highly recommend it. It's very inspirational from... Uh, the individual inventor um, interviews in here to what it means to be one of the 7%, um, which is really, really fun. Um, and Robert had asked me to read what I wrote in here. Um, and so I'll, I'm gonna give it a quick read and then maybe we'll close out the night and um, try this again another time. So again, my name is April Mitchell. And this, the question was, what does it mean to be a uh, part of the 7%? And that 7% of inventors are women. That's it. It's a very small percent. Uh, and so this is what I wrote. It is an honor to be part of the 7% of women that are inventors. I have never used my gender as a reason or an excuse of my success or lack thereof. When we have a passion, determination, positivity, grit, and are willing to learn, we can truly accomplish any goal we set our minds to and believe we can do. I am blessed to have a wonderful examples in my life, both males and females, accomplishing various goals. Among them, I had three generations of astounding men in my life that invented for the fun of it. This showed me that inventing should be something enjoyable and to be shared as well as the fact that creativity can be a part of everyday life. This sparked something in me. I believe we are all blessed with creativity in different ways. When that idea sparks, it can lead to a fire not only in us, but also in generations to come, especially in our own families. And that's what happened with me. My family and raising my children are by far my highest accomplishments in my life. I have invented many concepts, two of which I've been granted a patent for on the merits of my invention, and I have licensed several of these inventions. I have a God-given gift and passion to use this gift daily. I encourage children and adults alike to use their gifts, passions, and brains to see how they can better the world and make it more enjoyable. Together, let's embrace creativity and the world of inventing. Um, in um, my, again, my product that's for retail right now is Right Height. Um, I have licensed five other products, um, and they will be coming out within the next year to year and a half in the toy and game industry. Um, and I'm, um, in works of a couple other products, um, right now in novelty and housewares and continually pitching, um, in the housewares and, um, game industry, game and toys industry as well. So, I enjoy it. It's fun. It's a family affair. We we invent a lot as a family. We have a lot of fun working on prototypes together, coming up with names, brainstorming, all that fun stuff. So um, this was really, really brief. Uh, I, I've uh, been on Robert's podcast, which is fantastic. So if you, you're not currently listening to that, definitely make sure you're listening to that. Um, it's great. And then of course, 
grab yourself a copy of this book. And um, hopefully we'll, we'll come on another time and Robert's going to get this all, this all going to work out. He's going to get it and it's going to be so much fun once he brings other inventors on and, and we all hang out. But I'm going to leave you with this because this is super important. My shirt today, I read, wrote, it might be backwards for you guys. So it says, make things happen. And that's the thing, you guys. If you're in this inventing business, you know it doesn't happen overnight and it's not easy. Whether you venture or you license your product, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of grit. It takes a lot of hustle. It's constant, constant work. But I honestly feel like it's worth it and I enjoy it and I've learned so much. I used to be the person who would break the computer every time I touched it to now I'm pitching live on Zooms and making, you know, sizzle videos and all kinds of things. So... You guys, if you want to learn, if you're willing to learn and you're willing to put in the work, you can do this too. So just because you, you're not there yet and your product's not in retail does not mean it won't be. So keep it up. Keep learning from other inventors who've paved the way. Listen to Robert's podcast. Use um, the tools and resources that are out there and make it happen. All right, you guys, thanks for listening. Uh, Connie, great to see you in here too. Um, can't wait to, I'm sure you're going to be popping on one of these lives as well, one of these times. So you guys have a great night and we'll try again another time. Bye.